Hello and welcome. Today I like to do something special. I would like to make my first review on the new cards of the next upcoming adventure, One Night in Karazhan. The first three classes we are gonna discuss in this first part are Hunter, Mage and Druid. Let's see what Blizzard has installed for these classes. So we will start with Hunter and the first card in our arsenal for Hunters are the Kindly Grandmother, a 2 minion 1-1 one, one, that has a death rattle of summoning the big bad wolf. It has also the beast tag on it. It's a very good card but I'm afraid of uh, f confronting in standard again the mighty face hunter with top deck kill command or as the other players call it skill command but it's also good with hound master so even control beast hunter has some possibility of coming back or shining in this new upcoming adventure but we will see it's only a matter of time but enough talk let's go to the next card that is a secret for hunter that is cat trick secret after your opponent casts a spell summon a 4-2 panther with stealth it's a secret just like bear trap but uh, the advantage is that your opponent cannot kill it in an instant it will it will have to I don't know use some AOE or RNG damage to kill the panther but with this card you can uh, enable your beast synergy spells like uh, skill command or hound master or ram langrer but it's a very good card for hunter and the, and the last card of this expansion for hunter is the cloaked huntress your secrets cost zero and the body is 3-4 and it's a very good card but we have a very bad oh get lost I mean sorry but we have to say this it's just like mysterious challenger but it's kind of a nerf because you need to have the secrets in your hands so you have to fill your deck with a lot of useless secrets but it's a very good combo with lock and load to get a lot of value out of it but is the meta ready for a secret hunter? It's probably, but it has a very good synergy with Yogg-Saron, so praise Yogg. The so the next class is Mage, and the first card we have is Fireland Portal. Deal 5 damage and summon a random 5 cost minion. In Arena this is a legendary spell, but it's common, so we will see um, a lot of mages in Arena, even more than now, so be prepared, like Illidan said once. But in Constructed it has some usage, but Flame Strike is more usable than this, but you can still get it for free from Ar uh, for the Conjurer, Spell Slinger, Capitalist Tome, or our new and very cute card for mage that is the one and only blabbling tome it's a one one for one mana battle cry add a random mage spell to your hand so you can get the fireland portal from it but is it worth it you have the mana warp a one free that whenever you cast a spell it gains one attack but we will see, maybe you can see it in a tempo mage or a yog mage deck, who knows, maybe, just maybe it will find a home. And the last card for mage today is Medivh's Valet, 2 mana, 2 free, if, you're, if you control a secret, deal 3 damage. It's a very interesting card but it won't see play because you need to have a secret and in standard you kind of don't play secrets because you lost uh, Mad Scientist but it's still a good card in Arena and maybe it will find a home. And our last class for today is Druid. 
and the first card is 1 mana 2-2 two, two, Enchanted Raven. It's a very good card that can uh, push Beast Druid further and I don't know, maybe even an aggro druid deck we will find out maybe after the expansion. The next card is a very good one because it's Moonglade Portal. Restore 6 mana, summon a random 6 cost minion. So you can get Taurison, Sylvanas, Sunwalker, a lot of 6 cost minions. It's unbelievable. There are so many good 6 drop minions in the game right now and I don't see a flaw with this card. So good job. And our last card for today is a 6 mana 5-5 five five mana jerry warden battle cry, choose a friendly beast, summon a copy of it. This card is just truly truly insane in any druid deck. You can summon a copy of druid of the claw, druid of the flame, savage combatant, any beast you have on the board and this is just insane, it can fit in any druid deck except maybe for token, but maybe I am wrong. And with that said, this concludes our first part of the review. I hope you enjoyed this review and I hope to see you again in many other videos that I will make for you. If you enjoyed, like it or dislike it or even subscribe for more videos. Until then, see ya!